it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be looking at the last three figures from Elite Series 74. They're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10% at checkout. Here all they are out of the package. Well, in the package. We'll get them out. I know you are curious. I know Natty has been wanting to join us for well over two years. We have reviewed the full series. We already looked at Goldberg, Andrade, Finn Balor, and AJ Styles. Here's the back image. Now, these two will share the exact same card, the chase, as well as the original. So I'll go ahead and just show you this one so you guys can see what's going down. We got a nice image of him up top right there. The final man to complete the overall party. Yes, because Kalisto, Sin Cara, no, Sin Cara has been let go hero fix. Lindsay Dorado and Grand Matalik, they're all ready, man. All oh, pretty stoked. Now, Elite Series 75 should have an updated version to have the matching look of it all. But for me, dude, I'm just glad that we have them and we no longer have to wait. For Natty right here, talking about the sharpshooter, the third generation superstar with a legendary family pedigree. Wait, that's what my dog eats, pedigree. No, that's a different brand, Hero Fakes. Oh, okay. Well, nonetheless, the queen of hearts, she's here. So I say we get all three of them out. First figure we want to look at right here is the original Lindsley Dorado. The accessories, they are matching the chase. For some reason, I thought that the ones that were coming with the chase were like a different color, but they are the exact same pinata, which is yellow up top, a light blue towards the middle, darker when it comes like the, to the backside, and then the stomach area is kind of like a pink, and it's all coming together with a yellow right there on around both or all four feet, and then the actual, like, what, do, what would you guys call these? Hoofs? I'm going to call these hoofs. Black hoofs right here, and then the horns. I do like the accessory, man. I think if you're having any kind of party, you're going to need this, man. You can fill this up with candy, do what you want to do, have a good time, and then come talk to Hero Figs if you ever plans on throwing one right here on the channel. Look at the neck area. There are some pivots right here, some pivot points, at least around the neck area. Nothing on the feet, so it looks like that's the only point of articulation. And all the tiny tassels, they're all captured real well with this piece. For the hands, again, all identical on both of them you're getting the two or yes you're getting two open hands you're getting slight oh, slightly open on the ones that are already on the figure and then if you want to do like a full-on pose of the lucha's uh, lucha house party you'll be able to do so and the cool thing too man is that the tights on these they are very very different from one another anytime i've seen like a chase the similarities they're nearly next to like almost being the same thing except different paint apps now with this one you can tell that mattel tried a little extra like the calves you can actually see the calves on this one the tights are going all the way down on that the baby blue kind of has like the look of the actual shirt that he is wearing this is a rubber shirt so i know it is bothersome to a lot of people but thing is man is that when it comes to the lucha house party man these guys are going to be posed all around i mean yeah you can have a nice little intro with it but at the end of the day it's always better for posing if this was fabric up front we got lucha house party and the original old school look of in your house style of the look go like back in the i would say actually prior to or the attitude era it was like the whole transition of it all that's kind of like what the pay-per-views used to look like when it came to it all pretty awesome that they did pay a little amish on the back there is nothing going on usually the straps are right here on the sides except on this one this is coming through the back kind of like what you see with some vests the struggle of it all it does come off pretty smooth i'm glad that they put this style to it like doing it from the back because if you do it from the sides then you kind of have to fight to try it out uh, taking it off the head scan right here both of the scans are sharing the same expression you're getting the screaming look but it's going to be the color of it all that's going to distinguish one from the other the pink right here it's carrying through not just on the mask but also on the wrist straps right here and the outline work of the actual tights of it all you can see the man's beard towards the bottom the little side hair piece that comes up from the ears all the way down and the ears they actually do have a nice little baby blue accent line work up top and then on the back they didn't stop there you can see that the logo right there it's signified right there centered on the back there is a lot of tattoos when it comes to Lindsley Dorado and I'm seeing all of them I'm seeing them on the back I'm seeing it on the shoulder this is kind of like a grim reaper with like a Texas flag right there working all the way down towards the bicep area on the left side I can't really make out what that is I believe that's quail fish I think that's the style of fish but it's like two fish swimming around a body of water 
and then a little bit of flowers on the outside of it all. The tights right here, I, the outline work, I, I honestly, I can't make out what they're trying to go with. I will tell you this, it is pretty neat, like the combination of the baby blue and the pink. I do like the overall look of it all. You can see that they even added the little extra right there on the back side. The boots on these, they will share the same boots, but these ones will look a little bit longer because of the paint right here coming up by midway through the calf area. I think the design of it all, it's pretty much the exact same thing except instead of baby blue and pink we're getting like two different kinds of golds on this one you're getting like a shiny gold when it comes to the design of it all and then like a flat finish when it comes to like the rest of the tights on the back right here i'm gonna take off the shirt we already covered the shirt it is the same shirt so we'll go ahead and take it off so you guys can see all of the same tattoo work the only thing that i didn't cover on that one was the forearm tattoo which we will bring it up to frame so you guys can see it looks like this is uh Honestly, it looks like an astronaut. Everybody knows what that is, you guys. I can't make out what some of the tattoos are on some of these characters. Like, you got to be following these guys on WW Inc. to know what's going on. But one thing I will tell you is that it's the same Grim Reaper right up here on the shoulder. This right here, this is just a little fuss. It's not a paint app. The gold is captured correctly. I mean, I'm not seeing any flaws. Like, maybe just a tiny bit right here on the left side. I know that one had a little bit going on. No, actually, come to think of it, I think that's the way that he does it when it comes by the knee area. Area. but overall man i am pretty pleased i think the belt right here the little strap on this one it's gonna stand out a little bit more because on that one even though you can barely see it it is there it's like a darker black this one you're, you'll be able to see it a little bit more because of the actual tights being gold on that the belt it's coming all the way around and the scan of it all dude pretty nice i i do like the screaming scan dude i think if you're throwing like any kind of lucha house party this is the look that you want to do man let's get all three of them in here so you guys can see how awesome well for again if you include the other one but once you add Kalisto right here to the picture once you add Linsley Dorado and Grand Matalik dude that is a thing of beauty man big fan of like the look of these figures I mean they are jobbers but nonetheless they are very entertaining and they always get the crowd going kind of like what Natty does now for the accessories for her we are getting interchangeable hands these are the ones that you'll see outside of the pack well not outside but right next to her we'll get two closed fists when it comes to the actual hands and as you guys know they are getting the exact same articulation when it comes like to the guy, to the male figures. So the double hinged knee, you're gonna see it right up front, man. We haven't seen a natty in a good while, so seeing her right here in the elite wave, hey, I am all about it. And I'm gonna be flat out, man. There is so much going for this figure. This figure has got to be one of the best, not just in the wave, but I'm talking about come like or this year in 2019 of one of the best hats head scans of them all. There is a little bit going on. I think that's just the, yes it's not sticking so it's not a pain issue on mine but dude look at the likeness on that man really nice i mean apart from the other hands as far as the accessories you'll see her um what you call these like uh cat ears yeah i'm gonna call it i'm gonna that, i think that's a good name for it but on the left side we got paws out claws out and then on the right side it's very 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 small font but i think that says uh natty cat and then it's got a little tiny nose uh, like towards the bottom it's really hard to pick up you guys because the font it's like super small but it's definitely all there once it does come off pretty easy so you just go ahead and slap slap that off this piece right here the little shoulder piece we have seen it in a previous release this is probably the best comparison that i can give you obviously the, t the attires are different but what i'm saying is is like this is one of my favorite natty figures and i think this might be a fix up i don't think this head scan came with this uh actual attire but when it comes like to the shoulder tassels right here i think this is the best representation of it all it's a true effects man look at this like it, it's night and day like this one was great but this one, bro, this is on a brand new, different, true FX level. And it does slip off pretty easy. The shoulder pieces, all these tassels, they are articulated. You can move them around. They won't stay in pose, but at least they are bendy. So you can play around with it all. On the back side of it, on the back side of it, you can see how all the designs, man, it's captured real well, man. The detail on this one, I feel like all the time that was spent between the time that they decided to put it, you know, on the sidelines, cause again, 
that this was going to be a Walgreens exclusive. I feel like they touched it up a little bit more and just really outdid themselves on this Natalia figure. The hair piece, there is no paint shading. I, I mean, I, I think when it comes to, like, if you look at the image right here on Natalia, you can see that her roots are a little bit darker than the actual, like, rest of the hair. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, there is a little couple of things that they could have added. I mean, Mattel rarely ever does do paint shading. It's like a every now and then kind of thing, but I think it would have been a, a nice little upgrade. I mean, there's, again, there's a lot going for it, so I can see why they kind of got away from it. The shirt right here. This is like a kind of like a three color. Well, I mean, if you if you include the studs, I guess you can consider it four. But the front right here, this is like a lighter color to kind of give it like that see through look of it all. And then on the insides as well as by the shoulder area, you're getting a really nice dark black that comes mainly right here, just through the sides. On the back, you can see the zipper right here. All those studs. Look at this. Like this is really I very very clean for capturing all of like the studs on the attire there is a little bit i will say that it's missing not much not dramatic enough to where it's like you got to do a whole like revamp of it all the forearms right here it's all being touched as well with all the studded design on both of them, dude, on the left as well as on the right. Not much going on on the inside of it all. It's going to be up by the top as well as up front where you'll see most of the pink. The bottom of the tights right here, they're going back down to the see-through look so you can kind of see like that. That's why it's not like a full-on black. They're really trying to capture it. See-through is really hard to pick up when it comes to paint, but I think overall they did a great job, man. And the articulation, oh yeah, dude, we could sit here all day and pick apart all of the new little extras with this i'm gonna give this a clear and solid 10 i can't take anything away from natty for lindsley dorado that's another perfect 10 man both of these figures this whole series in general man finn balor aj styles goldberg andrade let's go ahead and rank them while we got them all in the frame number one this is gonna be i'm giving this for sure to goldberg very happy to get a screaming scan for goldberg number two i'm gonna give it to natty there is a lot of nice paint apps with this figure finn balor number three i think this one with the cloth jacket it's something that we've been wanting for so long number four i'm gonna give it to andrade i feel like andrade would have been either number one or number two had they kept the same torso as we saw in the ringside exclusive lindsley dorado up next it's a tough choice between the chase as well as the original because both of them they are both benefiting from great paint apps and then aj styles right here i'm gonna rank them last mainly because of the color of the actual tights and the forehead man mine is still kind of big so yeah he's gonna sit last all the other ones man actually the full series in general man pretty happy i think mattel is killing it as of late when it comes to these waves and this one right here it's no different i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one